Hi and welcome to the Tennis Warehouse vlog. I'm Chris Edwards and this is week two of our playtester picks. This week, first up, we're going to head over to Atlanta and check in with a couple of playtesters there. First, I have my personal favorites, the Uniqlo Roger Federer hats. They come in eight different colors, so plenty to choose from. These are the perfect holiday gift for any tennis player, not only Roger fans. Then, I have the new K-Swiss Speed Track tennis shoes. I just started playtesting them and they are super comfortable right out of the box. There is no breaking time needed, super cushioning in the back, very lightweight, speedy, snug feel. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely give them a go. Hey guys, Howard here from the Atlanta location. Today I want to highlight a few of the new Prince products out. It's the Prince Hydrogen Collab. Uh, it's available in the Random colorway as well as the Lady Mary colorway. Both of these frames, cosmetic wise, amazing. I especially love the Lady Mary a little bit more. I love the rose design with the racket. Next I want to highlight this Prince six pack bag. I really love the colorway of this bag with the pink and black. It's an amazing bag. Um, fits all your tennis essentials that uh, you need to carry on court. Uh, it fits your towel, shoes, uh, and if you're also thinking about a racket to purchase with this bag, this Lady Mary racket is an excellent option to combine with this nice colorway. All right, thanks guys. Okay, now we're gonna check in with the play testers here. First up, we're gonna bring in a play tester whose forehand is just a thing of beauty, uh, but some people say his backhand went straight to DVD. Anyway, first up, let's check in with Jay. Thanks, Chris, for that wonderful yet humbling introduction. <laughs> um, first up on my picks is the A6 Gel Resolution 8 in this awesome colorway. We just launched it this week. It's exclusive to Tennis Warehouse. Uh, for those of you that have uh, been around tennis for a little bit, we launched a shoe 10 years ago um, that this shoe was kind of inspired off of. But it's an, uh, the Gel Resolution 8 is a great all-court shoe. It's super comfortable, super stable, and a bonus is that it comes with a six-month durability guarantee. All right, up next is a racket that actually surprised me, and um, I'm surprised I'm holding it in my hand as my pick, but it is an awesome racket. It's the Prince ATS Textream um, 100 290. I think it's the best under 300 gram racket that we currently carry. Um, it's a super user-friendly racket, spin-friendly, uh, nice open string pattern, but it's very uh, control-oriented as well. Um, and it has a great comfortable and responsive feel. Um, it's definitely a racket that I really enjoy and it's something that I would even switch to if I could just add a little bit of tungsten tape to it. All right, up next, I'm gonna throw it over to Brittany. Thanks, Jason, for that fabulous and riveting introduction. My first pick, I too also chose the ASICS Gel Resolution 8 in our new T-Dub exclusive colorway. And this colorway, like Jason mentioned, was originally on the Gel Resolution 4, and it was inspired by the Noosa colors of the running shoes. One of my favorite parts of this colorway is the great fun speckled midsole. And I really love this shoe for a couple reasons. It is supportive, it is stable, it is durable. It's great for those players that are really aggressive with their movements, juniors, college, even um, league players. It's a great overall shoe that will last you a good amount of time. And my second uh, pick is the Tennis Warehouse Cropped Hoodie. And now this hoodie is great as it's getting colder. It's a great layering piece on the tennis court. It's also great if you're off court, whether you're going to the gym or just walking around town. It's really stylish and I love it because it's available in this uh, military green colorway as well as a pink colorway. And now I'm gonna pass it on to a man that needs no introduction. He has the dirtiest of slices and the craftiest of drop shots, Chris. Thanks, Britt. Now I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek, kind of behind the scenes look of some of the testing we've been doing recently. These are rackets that we don't currently carry rackets from these brands, but we've been testing them, we've been really enjoying them. I've grabbed three of the models we're kind of liking the most so far. And I'd like to get your opinions on if you think we should bring them in and have them in stock here at Tennis Warehouse. So first up from Snowit, um, I've got the Grinter 98 Tour. We've been hitting pretty much their complete range of rackets, really enjoying the Snowit rackets. If you think Snowit is a brand you'd like to see at T-Dub, please comment below and let us know. This one's got a really nice feel to it, um, really feel connected to the ball. It's a little bit lower powered than something like a pure drive, but I think you get similar maneuverability and spin and a little bit more feel and control than, than say like a pure drive or a pure arrow, something like that. So a uh, nice playing racket from Snowit. Plenty more on there, so check the web. 
site, um, the Snout website for more information on the models they carry. Next up, we've got the R Tango, and this one is the TR960 Tour in the 1619 pattern. Also comes in an 1820. Um, really enjoying the 1619. It's a very soft, uh, very uh, plush feeling racket. I would probably weight this one up because it is so soft and it is fairly light and maneuverable too. And so just to give it some pop on serve and to give it some added stability and punch and volleys, I'd probably weight this one up at 10 and 2, a little bit of tungsten tape. I'd have Troy Lara do it, to be honest with you, because he does a better job than me. But we'd definitely probably play around with the spec on this one. But if you're looking for something fast, easy to get spin with, um, but there's loaded with control and feel, these um, Artengo Tour uh, TR960s are good ways to go. If you'd like to see these rackets here at T-Dub, um, let us know in the comments below. And then last but certainly not least, we've been hitting some diadem rackets as well. And this one is called the Nova, and I've been really enjoying this racket. This one reminds me of the old uh, Technofiber T-Flash 300 power stab that I used to use. I used that racket for about two and a half years and loved it. Um, this racket is very similar to that. It's nice and crisp feeling. Ball gets in and out of string bed quickly. It's very spin friendly good access to power, very, very fast and maneuverable, yet somehow managed to feel just stable enough in pretty much every situation. So this has been a Dynamite playtest for me. There's a plus length version I'm dying to hit. I haven't had a chance to hit it yet. So we just started hitting these ones, but really enjoying that. So if you think we should carry any of those three brands here at Did, uh, let us know. And that's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.